right so this video is about three wire source of operation earlier it was keypad source of operation now three wire now what is this three wire and three wire we generally push to start we use push button to start the motor we use push button to stop the drive and generally we use toggle switch to change the directions so we have three wires and these are interlinked these are connected to these terminals so let's see that in detail this is the wiring diagram okay for three wire control so in three wire control what we are doing is we are using 11 number which is 24 source input and connected to your relay contacts 6 2 and 3 so we are, we are using three relays this is r2 r3 and r6 so let's remove the other one to avoid any confusion 0 r1 that's not how it's so this is r2 r3 and r6 so we have three outputs it means that we have to this is what we are doing using a PLC you can do using a push button as well instead of this NC contact you can use NC switch can be done is instead of using NO contact you can use NO switch and here you can use a toggle switch okay so that can also be done but we are doing using a PLC okay so our out colon 0 slash 2 this is the output if this gets on your auto relay R2 will be on and this will close the contact between 11 and 2 if this happens this will start the drive okay when you provide 11 when you connect 11 to 2 just for a moment just for a pulse it will latch the drive that's the 3 wire and when you remove the pulse when you disconnect this once this 0 1 and 11 it will stop the drive and when you provide signal from this 11 to 0 3 it will change the directions okay so to make it easy I have this letter logic here that says 0 2 and 6 we, we have three outputs so now the first thing is we have to first enter the parameter in the VFD okay so this was three wire let's see what are the parameters parameters 106 again start source the same parameter in which we have to enter one okay so that's the parameter here 106 go inside and enter one this is one press enter again so as soon as I press enter you'll find this LED goes off because now the control has been shifted from this control keypad to external control so I'll go back here this is a frequency now let's move to PLC and see how this is working so let me adjust the size yeah now when I run this out to once this is a bit which I'm going to forcefully turn it on toggle on and toggle off hold on all right so now if I turn this bit 3 on once okay let's see that if I turn it on once and turn it off so I've just given a one pulse input this has started my drive so you can see motor is running here okay just by turning on turning it on once so what happened when I turn out to this goes on this get connected to 0 2 and gets off okay this is what happened now this is for my reverse I don't want to touch that even now let's stop it to stop it I will just turn it once so when I run this bit 2 it will turn on out 6 when out 6 is on this is NC this will be open so when this opens drive gets stopped let's see that toggle this has stopped the drive I have removed the switch drive is stop I'll explain again why it stopped because it needs constant supply of 11 and 1 even when you purchase a drive you'll find this wire is already connected so we have done it using an NC contact if this NC gets open no matter what's happening drive will stop alright when this get connected when 11 and 2 gets connected drive will start it will push to start it will latch itself when this 11 and 3 gets connected drive will change the direction so let's see the change in direction now so right now I have to start it once this has started the drive to change the direction I have to start this one so when I run this one drive will go to reverse you can see it will go to reverse it's the motor happening. okay to make it forward again I will turn off the out tree it will go back to forward to stop the drive I have to run it once that will stop the drive so this was about three wire control we are not using this one we will do that in later one two three and six three outputs two three and six for push to start push to stop and to change the direction and I was telling you again it's not necessary to use relays you can use switches here as well so if you want to if you want to have a little idea I'll just tell you what switches you can connect here this is normally open okay you can connect that to here because many times you may have to connect it for your operators to work 
like this. For this one, we can connect a toggle switch. Like this, this is for direction. And for this contact, you can connect your NC switch. So when you press this switch, the simulation may not be happening. When you press this, drive will run. When you press this, drive will stop, and this will change the direction. Okay. So this is the other way of doing that, but we prefer to do it using a PLC as I told you before because that is a little more adding more complexity to the lessons. Alright, if you have any question, post a query. Thank you so much.